word can obscure or embellish meaning. Right could be an entitlement to privacy or the right that observes custom and ritual. Rights of Privacy is written and performed by actor David Rhodes, a fine wordsmith who explores both forms of meaning. Growing up, there was a boy in my building, Billy Werner. He lived on the sixth floor and uh, we would play together after school, dress up our private little ritual. Five characters embodied by Rhodes share the theme of assimilating from somewhere else and are drawn from a subtle blend of personal experience and fiction. Minute detail is paid to characterization, ranging from accent to the placement of blusher. It was like an Elvis and Priscilla thing with Tyro and me. Oh, I say it was love at first sight, but he says, he was just staring at my hair. It was high, bouffant. Each tells a story that is astutely observed, powerfully expressed, and has a sting in its tail. A fading Southern belle speaks of her husband. <laughs> I was his own personal beauty queen, and he did whatever it took to keep me happy. I didn't want for anything. A lumberjack of his brother. Caleb was small, and uh, one of his eyes sort of wandered off to the side. So the other kids called him Cyclops, short stuff, and, uh, and Rita. A doctor of the consequences of her secret affair, and a gay boy from Belgium of his lover. But it is the lamentations of a German-Jewish immigrant for his unborn ancestors that are arguably most poignant. So, when I watch my grandchildren play, I also see their unborn cousins play, side by side. The great-grandchildren of my uncles who were killed in the camps. This form of dramatic monologue elicits rapt attention from its audience, who is complicit as judge, jury, and confessional. My father had a, a violent temper and a short fuse. A sneaker left out on the living room floor, an album put back with the wrong cover, or a door slamming too loudly could set him off. I lived on eggshells. By sharing the burdensome secret of each persona, we are encouraged to be more open-minded and accepting of others who may resemble aspects of our own hidden selves. In third grade, my parents sent me to my first therapist. Presumably because I was having nightmares and um, acting out in school. I showed my penis to some girls in the playground. Each tale is punctuated by a change of makeup and dress as Rhodes weaves candid personal anecdotes and evocations from his own life into the dramatic tapestry. As he reveals his own painful past and resolved present, we get the idea that we are all more similar than we think and that the terrible secret really can be halved when shared. Spend 90 minutes in the charming company of David Rhodes, invest in the power of words, and allow your own secret heart a little dance of liberation. Oh uh -huh.